Hello and welcome! I'm DDF Racer, and um, I hope you enjoyed that music because that's probably the noisiest it's going to get all stream. <laughs> welcome along, it's Tuesday Thunder with Oz and Zed Sim Racing. Now, I haven't got a strap board to tell me what's going to be happening today because I've been super lazy and I've not wiped it off from last week because that still applies to the rescheduled race for this week. So, ignore this. That says I'm going to be racing FRX 22's Imola, which I'm not. Today is, well, the first Tuesday Thunder I've done for two months maybe wow it feels it feels a lot longer crazy stuff <laughs> anyway we're going to be doing um electric racing today the e cupra at aragon motorland or motorland aragon i think it is um not the one at lord of the rings i know that's an easy joke to make strider and all that nonsense but no we're going to be racing electric cars in spain um which is why i said i hope you enjoyed the music because uh these electric cars don't make much sound they also don't turn, they don't break, uh, they have absolutely no grip whatsoever, but apparently they, they do make for good racing. So uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see you guys. I'm looking forward to this, it's been a while. It's, this is the bread and butter of the channel, this is the classic series, this is the one that I've been doing. Ooh, it'll be three years? Wow, three years in December will be three years of Tuesday Thunder. Mental! So if you're not familiar with the format, let me remind you very quickly. The server goes live in about five minutes, at uh, which point we'll have a 20-minute practice session, which you can actually vote on whether or not I'm going to qualify for. Get your votes in chat. Exclamation mark vote yes, if you want me to... Sorry, exclamation mark vote qual, Q-U-A-L, if you want me to try and set a lap in quality, or exclamation mark vote back, if you want me to start from the back of the grid. Or we'll at least not set a lap, because other people might not set laps as well. We'll see. We'll see. Um, and then after that, you know, we got the qualifying session, which is 15 minutes. Whether or not I qualify or not is completely up to you. Uh, we got how many votes we got in so far? I think we got the one vote in so far. Got one vote in so far, and that was Rangy. Vote back. Okay. Now it's a bit of a loaded vote because, well, the race one is only going to be 10 minutes. It's a sprint race. Race two is a 38 minute reverse grid race. Now, it's normally 35, but they've added three minutes in the middle to account for the safety car, which is going to bunch the field up at the halfway point. So basically a mandatory competition caution, if you will. So if I start from the back in race one and don't make any positions, then I'm going to be starting from the front in race two. So technically it's a vote qual. You voted for the main race, but if you, if you want me to qualify in race one, then and I can keep that position, then it's going to be starting from the back in race two. Or, if I start from the back in race one, make my way to the front, I'm going to have to start from the back again. So basically, if you vote back, it's... We'll see. We'll see. Because <laughs> these cars are notoriously difficult to drive. I, I know, Rangy, you're in chat like, lol, sure. But seriously, sprint race, if you spin, if you go to the back of the grid, then it's going to be hard to make that time up again because you lose so much time when you spin these things. It's so easy to overheat the tyres as well. It's um, it's just tricky business, guys. It really is. So I wouldn't laugh. I wouldn't be so uh, uh, dismissive of the fact that I might not do well in race one because, well, yeah, these cars are hard to drive. It doesn't sound like they should be, but they are hard to drive. No gears, no engine, just battery and... Um, and a right foot and a left foot, basically. Anyway, let me switch over to race room mode and let's go and get into the server. <laughs> Lol, sure times two. Um, I have a bit of a black screen in race room now. It has not kicked into life. Is it going to kick into life? I clicked on multiplayer and it's gone blank on me. Have I been race roomed? I think I may have been race room, guys. I think I'm going to have to do an alt and F4 and restart the game. Ugh, fantastic stuff. Yeah, this ain't responding on me. Oh, well, never mind. We've still got another three minutes or so before the server starts. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Amit, great to see you. Rangy, great to see... Uh, Rangy, by the way. Look what turned up in the post. I haven't fitted that yet. Um, but that is going to be a project of mine, maybe for the weekend. I don't want to do it before the E1 race on Thursday, just in case something goes wrong. Not that it will. You never know. All right, that's race room quit. Let me restart again. Thank you again, by the way. And for those of you who don't know what this means, <laughs> uh, Rangy has got himself an upgrade 
on his CPU, and he's kindly donated his old CPU to myself. He even paid for the postage, because he's just a legend like that. Liam Murray! Hello! Good to see you, sir! Hope you keep him well. Um, I'm not exactly sure what CPU it is. It's got numbers and stuff. Um, it's, it's basically the step up from the one I've currently got. It's a, a Ryzen... What are we dealing with here? It's all shiny, I can't see. Uh, Ryzen 9 3900X. That's what we're dealing with, guys. 30, 3900X. So thank you very much for that. And, um... Yeah, so that's going to be Project for Legend of the Week. Uh, y yes! Sticky, look at this! Boggy sent me a shirt in the post. I'm not sure if you can see the full thing. It says Slovakia on the front. And, um... I don't know if you can see the back. It says DDF Racer. Well, you can't really see the see the back. It says it's got DDF Racer number 67 on the back. So a massive shout out to Boggy in chat for that. I'm not sure if he's here right now. Um, and he also got me a Slovakia scarf. You can probably see it on the corner there. Um, oh, an absolute legend. Thank you so much, Mr. Mr. Bogdan, for that. Legend. Um, as soon as the DDF merch is available, you'll be getting yourself. A free shirt, don't you worry about that, sir. <laughs> now it's number 67, Sticky. Hey, Talonin, good to see you, sir. JK, good to see you as well. Evening to you too. Um, yeah, we're just currently waiting for Race Room to restart because it um, it didn't like me pressing multiplayer and it just gave me a, a black screen, unfortunately. So uh, I'm going to restart again. Yes! Nice win, mate! <laughs> Talonin! 25 months. Wow! That's insane. 25 months. Two years and a bit of just being a legend. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. That's insane. That is genuinely insane. That's like... That's month after month coming back, writing writing ridiculous messages in chat, and um, all, all the donations, all the support, just being here for the streams, no matter what time of day it is. You're always here, man. You're always here. I don't know how you do it, and still do other stuff. <laughs> it's mighty impressive. Anyway, Race Room is back on the menu, so let me just switch it over. There we are, we're back in the Race Rooms. Uh, two years of watching me boost the value of all waste contractors in the air. Oh, I see. Rapid bins. Rapid bins unite. <laughs> Alright then, let's get on the server, shall we? It should be live by now, it's now 6.31pm, which means that uh, any time now... Is that the one? Cooper and safety cars... We got... Now that's a race duration of one minute. That's not the one we want! We want a race duration of 10 and then 35. That's the practice server that's still up, so let me just refresh that list. Let's just filter it down to Oz and Z here as well. That's more like it. That's what we're after. Yeah, that's pretty cool, Sticky. That's pretty cool. I'm um, looking forward to this weekend's race as well. Brazil is always a cracker. Mr. Bishy Cordia, welcome to chat. Good to see you, sir. Hope your Thermalito practice is going well. Uh, by the way, Thermalito 22 driver briefing video will be out very shortly. Um, I finished recording that, well, bits and pieces of that last night, uh, and hopefully I'll be able to get the editing done tonight as well, and uh, get that out for you guys two weeks before the race. Well, more than two weeks before the race now, actually. For those of you who are taking part. Right, let's go back to the multiplayer menu. And let's load back in again, see if that kicks it into life. Still can't see the server. So I suppose in the meantime, what I could do is uh, bring in the trusty OzNZ voice chat. Uh, the wonderful dulcet tones of the people that are going to be racing with and against tonight, OzNZ Sim Racing, who have a penchant for demonetizing my streams. So get ready. Three, two, one. Silence. Evening, guys. Hello. Hello. Hey, how are we all today? Hello. Oh. Marvelous. Excellent. That's what we want to hear. <laughs> They're not the best, but the uh, TT server will be up in a minute. No worries. Yeah, I know you're uh, on the fence whether you can make it or not tonight. You feeling? You feeling good? 
It was another rough night. Oh, jeez. I got to sleep this morning. <laughs> uh, life of a sim racer, we can all relate to that, right? So the server will be up anytime soon, he is working on it. Uh, old Bubble Johns, one of the admins here at OzNZ, he has the keys to the kingdom, so we're just waiting for that to go live. So we're a little bit behind schedule. Um, I, I haven't watched MotoGP, Sticky. It's one of those things that keeps on popping yeah, up when I think... Jesus, head at 40, I think that should be more than enough. I missed that. Okay. Um, yeah, I haven't watched MotoGP. It's one of those things that keeps on popping well, up and I think 30. I should watch it. But I, uh, I never get around to it. And it's on. Love your work. Thanks, mate. I reckon at least 100 needed. Just get yeah, them off. Those cut tracks will get you, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and because there's no... It, it might be one of those races where the winner is actually the guy who just keeps it clean. Uh, there's no blatantly obvious orange cards in today's selection, so I'm going to go for my secondary colour, the teal. Let's paste the password in there. Let's go and join the practice... Oh, well, the official race server, but it's going to be the practice session. Now, that qualifying Let's vote... See if we all pick the same colour car. Well, there's no orange one, so there's me confused. Oh, I've got no choice. I only own one of them. All right, let me pause that music. I'm going to wait for the server to kick into life. Uh, qualifying vote has got 15 minutes left. Deliveries. No. And we've currently got three votes power. starting from the back. One vote qualifying. So don't forget to get your votes in. The same anyway. Type into the chat exclamation mark vote yes. qual. If you want me to try and it's set a lap in quali. Or exclamation, mo exclamation mark vote back Must if you want to marquee? not set a lap in quali. Which means that All qualifying that will effectively turn into a 50 minute Q&A session. Honestly, I thought about that at Chang, but I thought... No. Let's get the headset on <laughs> and... Let me just show you very quickly, these are fixed setup races as well. So I like to run the brake bias for these cars around about 54 and a half, 55. Uh, brake pressure is 100. I turn the steering lock up because I gives me the illusion hey, that that helps it you steer have, more. Uh, para in chat. Uh, who, sorry? He goes by the name Para. Uh, let me check. Uh, can't see him. Maybe he's just lurking. <laughs> Boggy! Uh, but yeah, the rest of the car setup is completely fixed. So you can see, you can't change any of that. You can change the regeneration uh, amount, well, if you're because it's a battery. Uh, in answer to a question I got sent, I've got shit going on in my life. I'm not particularly happy, and I'm not up with putting up with dickheads right now. <laughs> there we go. Well, I guess that answers that one. <laughs> uh, yep, so the, regener cool. the regeneration amount is... Uh, how much the battery recharges because this is an electric car um but we're not going to be not going to be bothered with that because we've got the fuel fuel usage we've got the fuel usage turned off basically which means that the battery doesn't deplete because it's only good for about 20 minutes and we've got a 38 minute race so there goes that and that's what you can change on the car that is it so we've got some people out on you can hear that little whiz in the background Whoa! Not my head. Boggy, thank you very much for the 6990. <laughs> yeah, check this out. Thank you, Boggy. Big shout out in chat to Boggy for this. What an absolute one. Well, not for not for my beer belly or my No, it's not really beer, it's just snacks. My snack belly. But thank you for that. Uh, DDF, did you know I bought a Mozza? I'd heard rumors. I didn't want to believe them, but I heard rumors. <laughs> you heard the rumors that it's already broken. Oh really? He broke it. I blame Rangy. I was trying out his force feedback. Uh, did you have the fire extinguisher handy? Because if not, that might be why. <laughs> if it's Rangy stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> it is a weird force feedback system. It's direct drive, right? Uh, yeah. Interesting. Speed Force Sim Racer. Um, I've still I'm got on the, the second camera. We were base in a week. I've still got the CV1. Yes, I am interested in upgrading my headset, but there's a few things that are stopping That's me. Some good numbers. Like, um, I need like a wired headset, and I've noticed that the Quest 2 and the uh, yeah, my issue the is Rift the, uh, S main bearing. The cables have a habit of melting snap. if you keep keep them plugged in for extended periods of time. I've seen a lot of people post that on Reddit, and I'm not too keen to do that. Running it without the cable. 
Oh, just uh, 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 Wi-Fi and bandwidth, apparently, which is not going to be great for my streaming setup. It's going to take away some resources from that. And, um... It's, I don't know. I haven't seen enough about them to convince me that it's worth it, to be honest. And this works perfectly fine. quick release, though, so that's a... Anyway, let's go and do some practice, shall we? Let's go and get this car out on track and show you what this is all about. It's going to be very underwhelming in terms of sound, but you, you'll see. New fastest lap for Angel, 107.0. Okay, Dan, 15 so minutes left. That's 15 minutes. 15 minutes left in the practice session, so no ignition. You just have to turn the thing on. There it is. Put it into drive. And that's it. We're going under the power of the electric batteries. It looks clear. Oh, I've lost my chat. Let's get some heat into them. Yellow flag. Where's my chat gone? I've lost my chat. Oh, there it is. It's not pinned for some reason. The leader has just done a 106.4. That's more like it. For some reason it reset it back to the background. Don't want that. And, um... My chat's decided to break as well. It's not keeping up with itself. Having oh, a few technical problems here today, guys. Sorry about this. Not quite sure what the go with that is. Alright, let's try that again. Green flag, incident clear. Now this is the national version of the Aragon circuit, which basically means it cuts out the fun stuff and replaces it with a heap of really slow and awkward 90 degree right and left corners. There we go. Really slow and tricky. And then put the throttle down. Green flag, sector one. And that's it. Build the well, not the revs. Build the speed, I guess. Listen to that glorious transmission whine. Got a break so early, and then you're still out breaking yourself. Wow. And these corners are not flat out if you don't get the line right. Normally it would be flat out. But in this car, it just weighs a ton. It just doesn't have grip. It doesn't have like racing slicks either. Guy head's gone off wide. Have to lift through here. It just doesn't want to stick. It has the understeer. So easy to outbreak yourself. Got to keep the corners nice and tight, smooth. Got to be smooth. Get this guy around the outside. Olaf, hello. Zero point seven off the pace. Oh, so much understeer. Where's Andreas when you need him? Yellow flag. Incident clear. Green flag. <laughs> You're a wizard, Olaf. <laughs> This sounds like the Ferrari F1 engine. It does, Potato, doesn't it? it? Sounds like Carlos Sainz is on board without the... Uh, uh, brakes catching the outlet. Internal combustion engine. Yeah, I haven't had time to do any practice at all. Aidan Millwood, hello! Uh, you can whack the pressure down 1 or 2%. It'll make it a bit more smoother. Green flag, sector 2, V4, sector 1 is 0.7 off the pace. Sector 2 is 2 tenths off the pace. Alright, let's try that again. And the SU is regen on the rear axle, so it'll just turn and slow down itself. Right. So it's just very smooth. Yellow flag in sector 3. Because there's no gears, there's no engine note for like reference points to know how fast you're going in the corner. I've really got to drive it by feel, it's very strange. And with this lap is 1.2 up. I don't have slick tyres. I get back to the pitch, my cable, batteries and my keyboard are flat. This sucks. 1.3 up for now. Quick. I thought I turned battery power off. <laughs> oh, understeered it wide there. Get it to the left and then swing it back to the right again. One second up. Lucky! Lachlan Nichols Racing. Looks like I'm reinstalling AC for a particular community event coming up. Oh. I wonder which one that might be referring to, mate. <laughs> it would be good to have you there, sir. 
Make sure you turn your graphic settings down a bit compared to last year though. Don't want any uh, any little spikes affecting you uh, in the race. That was, a, that was a shame. Was it last year or the year before? Green flag in sector three. Because obviously this is going to be year three now of Thermalito. So much understeer, wow. And that's in too late and that's the ray gunners kick out on me. Yellow flag, green flag, you're clear. You Mind these track the limits, runs are you doing? Hey, what was it, sorry? The low electron runs. Ten minutes from right. flight <laughs> Yeah, took some uh, juice out of the battery, get a few extra tents. Get rid of the battery pack, just put three double A's in the lightweight. You'd be good for five corners. <laughs> like a Tesla, it's full of triple A's. I actually think they're doubles. They're all 18650s, aren't they? The big oh, Panasonic they're... bastards. Yeah, yeah, but they're about the size. They're, they're not that big as much bigger than double A. Yeah, so all they're impact. basically inner loops. <laughs> Correct. Except they blow up a lot more than inner loops. Now, a very important potato does make a good point about oh, the I note of the engine, all, well, note of the transmission relating Second directly time, to the okay. speed of the car. That is true, but it is incredibly hard to yeah. actually hear that. So, if you can make it out, flat cells, got, uh, then you're doing alright. Joining them all together and that, so. The car gets lighter with more tyre work. I wonder if that's actually simulated, Olaf. I wonder if that actually works. Yeah, it's so easy to lock the brakes in these things. And you definitely want to get your line right through this final sector, because these aren't sausage curbs, these are meatball curbs, these things. And they will absolutely launch the car. Alright, let's try again. You're now 0.2 off the leader's pace. Sector 1 time is good. Sector 2 is 2 tenths off the pace. Sector 3 is a tenth off the pace. It looks like Miller has spun off. Green flag in Sector 2. That was 106.3. A little bit of a lock up there. It's very easy to get a cut track around here as well. You'd think it's nice wide circuit. There's lots of runoff, but yeah, the track limits are very strict. You've really got to sacrifice that left to get the run out of this one. To get the run on the right. Because this, this um, electric motor does pull. It really does pull the torque, and the acceleration is absolutely incredible. It's just everything else about it's not, <laughs> not that impressive. And I say I didn't get the turning right there, I had to lift out of it. But that's still four tenths up though, that's not bad. Good size. Yellow flag, stay sharp. You're quickest overall. You're now 0.5, quicker than second place. Sector three time is quick. Incident clear. Back to green flag. Bit of a lock up again. Quiet laps are really going to be something today, eh, guys? <laughs> They're going to be very quiet. Green flag sector three. Sector one time is good. Oh, clonked the curb a bit too much, killed the exit. Quiet laps will just be heavy breathing indeed, Aiden. Now if I can get the turn in right, I should get another few tenths out of this final corner. That's better. I am wearing a Slovakia shirt potato. This was sent to me by Boggy in the post. Absolute legend. Big shout out to Boggy in chat for that. Nice, highly, highly undangerous fourth net monitor, I think. We safe to me. Held in, held in. Oh, there's a bit wide. And the curve away paper. That's the dip a wheel in the gravel. Not only does it invalidate the lap. It also uh, kills the tyre grip, or well, what little grip the tyres had to begin with. And do some grinding so I could reverse the mount. The mounting's foot. Mm -hmm. 
current at 105.5 with five minutes left in the practice session. Captain Jean-Luc Gandalf. <laughs> How fast is it in reverse? I have not actually tried that potato. And I'm, I wonder if there's a piece of track I can actually find out on. Let's see how this lap goes. Incident in sector two. Sector two is yellow. If I lose any time, I'll see if I can find the old reverse trick, eh? All right, Dan. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. Green flag in sector two. Gotta be so smooth on the inputs. You gotta wait for the car. Gotta brake early, gotta turn early. There's a lot of weight in this thing. It just lumbers it's around the sector track. Three. Sector three is yellow. There we go, that's better. I do know how to spin potato. I just wanna finish this lap actually. There's another couple of tenths. Sweet! Okay. It's going to be a 105.3 something. 326. Axel, hello! Yellow flag. We need to hey, Axel. Track limits. How are you going, mate? Hope you're keeping well. What I'm about to do is extremely irresponsible and not sim racery. So uh, just please, please don't try this at home. First of all, I'm going to reset my car position because that's a bit off. I'm going to recenter the view. I'm going to turn on the virtual mirror. I'm going to move that. When I press the button, button's going to work, is it? It's not that one. Is it that one? Come on. Come on, button. Come on, Jensen, my friend. It's not letting me do it. Is it no? It's not letting me do it. I was going to move that mirror out of the way. Anyway. How fast does it go in reverse? It definitely accelerates better than that. And it doesn't let you shift forward until you're actually... Uh, Great cars out there tonight. Zero. <laughs> so you can't do any J-turns in it. Why is it not letting me modify the mirror position? I need to fix that. Now let's go back to the race room menu. Unless you count the coal power plant. <laughs> Let's go to Range options. Range getting jealous all these green cars. <laughs> uh, Keybinds. Also afternoon everyone, how is everyone? Uh, yeah, well, we're terrific. And we need to... Driving this car on this track. <laughs> Why sense a hint of sarcasm though, Mark? <laughs> there could possibly be. <laughs> uh, HUD distance. Either do this or, or practice, for, practice for the weekend. Big, big weekend event, but uh, I chose this. I'll just have to practice. Tomorrow. Move and resize HUD elements. Suzuka there 10 we go. hour coming up on iRacing. Ooh. Yeah, that button's not responding on my button box. Just map it to that yeah, one instead. Too many hours. There we go. Alright, because what I want to do. You're not, racing, you're not driving for the whole 10. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. I can't count a pause. That virtual mirror. <laughs> I'm, oh, I race with a, I race with a uh, team of mostly. mostly Alright, Axel, look actually. after yourself, mate. Uh, thanks for dropping by. If you get a chance to stop by for the race, uh, oh we're going to be doing that in about 15-20 minutes. <laughs> so it'd be fun to see you then. If not, I'll catch you on Thursday for the rerun of E1 at um, Imola. Catch you then. Catch you then, Axel. Alright, so I want to move that mirror down here. Hey, he's a YouTube streamer, the guy who set the team up. Uh, sorry, uh, Twitch streamer, the guy who set the team up. Because up there is where the uh, Halo is in the FRX <laughs> uh, 22. Uh, Twitch streamer. That's more of a GT does anyone slash stream on DTM uh, virtual hey, muscle does something mirror else. position. I Can only you watch YouTube streams. I don't watch Twitch. I don't watch Twitch. Oh, Twitch is okay. So we got one minute left in the practice session. Let me check what the vote the was. Dan. The vote was. Oh wow! Six votes to start uh, from the back and YouTube. one vote he's to not qualify. In anymore in the childcare. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like we're going to be starting from the back. Okay then, looks like qualifying is going to turn into a Q&A session. So let me start up the main vote. Put up we'll a stream DDF a day in the life of DDF, then it's just daddy daycare. Oh, trust me, you guys don't want to see that. <laughs> you, you know the scene was like, I went toilet. 
He walks in and starts looking on the roof. It's like, oh god damn. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right then. Get your votes in, guys. Will DDF bin it? Exclamation mark vote yes or exclamation mark vote no. Uh, you guys voted 6-1 to one for me to not set a lap in qualifying. So I'm not going to set a lap in qualifying. I will practice my starts, though. Can't break the next lap. So once the session ticks over, I'm going to do some practice starts, and then I'll just turn it into a Q&A session. So Talonin thinks I'm not going to bin it. Olaf thinks I'm not going to bin it. Uh, question. Oh wow! Community a lot of practice. Community event with electric cars oh, moonwalk well, plane. Breaking, announcing the TDF moonwalk community. The mo moonwalk. Ah, oh, because it's backwards. Oh, so Maddie, how was my uh, number guess for participants? Hang on. Ten out of ten. <laughs> yeah, spot on. Alright, I will be uh, not setting a lap in quali because it was a six to one vote in chat. <laughs> I was the only one who voted Paul. <laughs> yeah, Rangy voted back before the vote had even opened. He's that keen to see me not qualify. <laughs> oh, he's casting one of those early votes. Yeah, absentees. Oh, I'm going to be the one up the. I'll be up the bat. So I just thought, yeah, you'd probably run away away from me. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do some practice starts yeah, in the pit lane, the, so I'm not cheating. Can we put the poly <laughs> fuel loaded? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's do some practice start, shall we? Less volts. But they should have a hole in the back for you to like, slide in the batteries. I mean, I think it's an going yet. It looks clear. Stay behind That's the actually line. makes okay, a lot of sense. <laughs> so there's no clutch on this thing, but it's in neutral. Fault starts are prevented on the server, so... Uh, And there's no revs to build, so you literally just put your foot down and let the batteries do the work. There is absolutely no skill in starting these cars because you can't wheel spin it. You just get your torque. This is and away giving it goes. me PTSD from this morning when my stupid e-scooter wouldn't turn on because of an overcharge issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. I'm just just completed a training module. It is I'm very weird, isn't it, Sticky? People on battery uh, lithium-powered uh, forklifts. <laughs> Would you it's know very how to weird fix my indeed. scooter? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to turn the comms off for a second, guys. Uh, yeah, so we now have 13 and a bit minutes of not qualifying. Thank you for the vote. Much appreciated. I hope you enjoyed the stream so far. If so, don't forget to leave it a like. Say hi in chat. And um, any questions, anything you've ever wanted to ask myself or ab about myself or the DDF Racer YouTube channel or any anything, now's your time. You've got 13 minutes to go. That's what we always do in these uh, qualifying sessions where you tell me to start from the back. Um, no car setups to do. There's absolutely nothing that I can change on the car. The car is fine. I don't need to worry about fuel usage because there is no fuel. It just... It's very weird. It is. It is, it is sticky. Now I'm going to turn that question around, Potato. Which Exciter car am I most hyped for? Well... To be honest with you, I need to I need to find out more about hypercars because I'm so out of touch with what's going to be released, what's under development, what's coming up. I know that there are so many new projects in the works. I know that Ferrari are getting involved, there's a new Beamer, there's um, the Bicolis as well. There's all sorts, but I honestly, I don't know enough about them to give you an answer that would actually make sense. Um, <laughs> So I need to do some more research, but that is, mate. That's that's what I rely on you for. You, you feed me all the endurance news. You keep me up to date, man. Um, Thursday night, Imola practice. I expect an update. <laughs> mm. Now there's not really much going on in, uh, well, in the channel on the channel outside of this race it's been pretty quiet obviously Thermalito as uh, Lockie was saying is coming up on the 26th of November the big DTF community event of the year we're going to be racing Indy cars just done at 106. and Ford Transit vans around Cirque Thermalito so that's going to be fun uh, details on my discord server and um yeah and that is a trailer on the channel as well so I just got distracted by Sticky's message it's all in the real racing channel on discord lols <laughs> it is I should probably check my own discord more often um, 
I see the thumbnails, I see the headlines, I just never really... I don't really click through that often because I just go, oh, shiny, and get distracted by something else. So there is that. Um, oh, actually, something else that is coming up on the channel. Obviously, E1, the Imola rescheduled FRX 22 finale that happened last week but didn't count because uh, half of the grid couldn't connect for race two. That's happening again this week on Thursday. But next week, I'm going to be trying out something, something new. Um, there's a long-term subscriber of the channel called Ricardo Pombero. Pombiero? I apologize if I've got your name wrong. But he has been working on an app. He's been developing a little piece of software called Racing Life that is a companion app for Automobilista 2. And he messaged me and said, hey, have you seen this? Would you like to try it? And I really like the look of it. And I'm going to be doing a stream about it next week on either Tuesday or Wednesday. I haven't decided yet. Um, but it's basically a career mode app for Automobilist 2. Now, I know you guys say, well, hang on a second. Doesn't Automobilist 2 already have a career mode? Well, yes, it does. But what this app does is it gives you different series to sign up for. It gives you some narrative to your races. So it's not just like a championship with points. You're progressing through the motorsport ranks. You have to earn money. You have to... Um, progress, you have to do your entry fees, you have to buy or lease your cars. So it's basically like an unlock system for Automobilist 2. Um, and it, it sounds really good actually. You work your way through the different series, you work your way up the ladder, um, you earn your money, your prize money, you get your sponsorship deals, you, you can obviously take out loans with the bank, you can buy new cars. And um, I think it just it adds something to Automobilist 2, adds a little bit of narrative to racing against the AI, because I know a lot of people they race offline. They can't really race online and commit to a league because they don't know when they're going to be available. That you know they can't lock in a time. They might just be able to do an hour here, an hour there. So they just hop on. They do some AI racing, and I think an app like Racing Life really does add some context to it. You know, it's really gonna. Well, I think it's going to be good. I don't know. I haven't actually tried it yet. So I'm going to be doing that next week. Um, it, it's a bit like GT Sport, I guess, Blitz. Um, yeah, you kind of you start off with a small amount, you earn prize money, you unlock cars, you can enter bigger championships, you can buy new cars, um, and yeah, each basically each month you can cycle through months and you can sign up for the races you can afford to sign up for each month. And it starts out with carts and GT5s, then you work your way up to like you know GT3s and Formula Threes, uh, DTMs, and then eventually you can get into the World Endurance Championship. It just sounds cool. It just sounds cool. It it makes me want to do AMS2 AI racing, and that is not a sentence I thought I would ever say. <sighs> anyway, that that's coming up on the channel. Uh, more questions, guys. Um, Sticky, am I part magpie? Oh, sorry, what was that? Yeah. Am I? I don't know. I just got distracted. Maybe. It's classified. <laughs> Okay, so Dave Smart currently on pole with a uh, 1 minute 6.26... Oh no, Graham, 1 minute 6.248. Simracer's Arms, hello, welcome. Good to see you. Uh, how are the historic groups fitted into that scheme? Good question, Olaf. I don't actually know. I guess they could be invitational races or classic retro championships. I guess this is why I'm going to use it and play some AMS2 and find out to see how it all works. But on the face of it, it does sound pretty good. I must admit. So we've now got six and uh, three quarters of a minute left in the qualifying session. Uh, there will be a warm-up for race one, a two-minute warm-up, and a two-minute warm-up for race two. I think that's just so they can remind people of the safety car rules and how that all goes. Uh, only 10 people on the server, which is a bit lower than usual, I must admit. But then again, this isn't the car uh, track combination that I think would appeal to most people. I know that Range is away. Um, I know that Chris McKenzie's away. I think he's got the race room, uh, Kiwi, Kiwi race room stream set up and going, I think. Uh, if Sticky, if you can find out and post the link in chat for me, that would be fantastic. Or anybody, actually. Anybody who's got access to that channel. Because <laughs> uh, he posts a third-party broadcast of these races. 
live on YouTube. Sometimes he does commentary, sometimes he doesn't. I don't know if he's available, if he's even streaming tonight. Oh, here he is, Ricardo Pombero. Man of the hour, I was just talking about racing life. About how I'm going to be having a look at that next week. Sounds exciting, mate. Sounds good. I like the idea of it. And let's find out. Let's see what it's all about. I mean, obviously, today we're doing Tuesday Thunder with Oz and Ted Sim Racing. And you rotters decided for me not to qualify. So that's why I'm sat here doing a Q&A session. <laughs> Did you just F to yourself in chat? <laughs> Never get used to that sound. That the battery's going by. The leader's just done a 106.13. Dave Smart back on pole with a 106.1. Five minutes remaining. Five minutes left. Five minutes left in the qualifying session, and again, there's no fuel. There's no tyres to sort out. It's just press drive when it's race time, and away we go. We just had someone else join. The Discord, I believe. The car in front is just that was Kiwi Racing. He may be streaming. I'm not sure. Maybe he's got the Discord chats going on. Anyway, I'm going to unmute the Oz and Z voice comms again because, uh, yeah, just because. Um, Ricardo, we're going to be racing the E Cupra. Actually, let me show you very quickly. This is what we're doing: the E Cupra at Aragon National. Every time I leave the pits, I click the starter motor button. Yeah, I'm the same. It's the combo that we're <laughs> it's mating. Come on, turn on, you bastard. Mating? Making. Give me a click or something. Yeah, pretty small grid, but yeah, hopefully the racing makes up for it. Yeah, it's, it's a like, good-looking like car. My washing machine makes when it's all on, electric. So I know it's on. Doesn't steer. Doesn't brake. Um. It doesn't have any grip, but apart from that, bang, it drives bang, fantastic. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Don't forget to get your votes in that way, by the way, bottom right of the Sounds screen. Like it's almost ready for its end DDF of life, Rick. You guys have got quite a lot of confidence in me so far, hey? It's already had a new bearing in it. It's unusual. You think I'm not going to bin it? Fair play. I'm not going to argue with that. That'd be nice if I don't bin it. <laughs> well, it's so weird sat here without engine sounds. I've really got to, really got to just think about what I'm saying. I know that having a soundtrack in the background helps fill the dead air, but it's bizarre. It really is. It's like normally you can rely on a bit of soundtrack, or you can have a look at the uh, the cars going around. You can, you know, hear the engines, hear the revs. Every now and again, you just get like a washing machine go past you. <laughs> it's. It's very strange. It's very strange. Kind of feels like I'm just sat here chatting. And there isn't really a race going on in the background. It feels like I'm just sat here chatting with an announcer. Which I am, technically. To think that there's people driving the ring out of these cars right now on track. Trying to squeeze an extra tenth, two tenths of a second out of it to get a few more spots on the grid. It's just like, you just wouldn't know. Has just done a 109.06. That's Lee Miller, 109.054. Looks like Dylan Angel is not going to be setting qualifying lap as well. Or maybe he has and he's just. He's invalidated all his laps. Because that's easy to do. Actually, no, that's Once not the case. He's made its mind up that it wants to spin. There's nothing to do. Because he's only got. Graham, 106. He's only got three. two laps on the board, so he's not trying to set a quality lap by the way. So he's not going to be qualifying, he's going to be starting on the back row with me. So we've got Lee Miller, Mark Hallowell, Clint Olaf, Jacob Neithling, Andy Turnbull, Sun Edu, Dave Smart and Andy Graham on the grid. No Rangy, no Lucky, oh, we haven't had JB here for a while. Uh, no Raz, no Chris, um, a lot of the familiar faces are not here. Oh well, we'll see what we're doing next week, see what the combo is for next week and see if we can get a few more numbers. One minute 25 left in the qualifying. Oh, we got a question from Sim Racers Arms. What's he saying? Dan, any plans to visit the UK soon or in the future? Is there a difference between D and S? S, S has, has the region. Diff yeah. But since we're not running any battery power, then no. It gives you it gives you braking power, braking regen. Yeah, it'll still have engine braking on the rear axle. Uh, any plans to visit the UK sooner in the future? Yes. It has no engine braking. I just don't know when, to be honest with you. 
for one of a better for one of a better word. Uh, because my parents recently came over to visit in Australia. So, and, um, affect your brake balance. So if you obviously, your we've got in one mode, you a little kid now as well, which is going to make it a little bit difficult to do international travel, especially for 24 hours each way. Uh, it would be nice to go back and see them sometime soon. It is on the cards. I just don't know when, man. I just don't know That's when. You just want to take the day. Yeah. Huh. Well, I mean, that's the thing. I've got to convince Mrs. DDF to go on a road trip to meet, meet all you guys. Because, well, I'm going to have to go and meet yourself, Potato, in the Netherlands. Uh, obviously, a little swing around Germany to see Olaf and Tobias and Bushel, everyone else. Um, Speed Force Sim Racer, I'm actually only about 10 minutes away from Liverpool. So I will definitely have to pop into the barbershop and say hi. That sounds awesome. I can actually do with a haircut right now. I've kind of left this go for a while. <laughs> you don't fancy flying over to Australia to give me a short back and sides, do you, mate, by any chance? Bring the sim rig, uh, sim rig with you? Anyway, that is the end of the qualifying session. You can see that is the grid. Andy Graham clinched out pole position. So we now have a warm-up for race one. So I'm going to use this opportunity to just get back into the flow of the car again. I haven't driven it for 15 minutes. I don't want to be rusty when the lights go out. So let's go and set a lap. Jimmy the Bear! The line. The brakes are cold. Be careful. Got someone live on YouTube ahead of me there. Clear to the left. <laughs> Yellow flag. Green flag. You're clear. Oh, Speed Force, that sounds awesome, man. I would love to come and say hi. Whereabouts, um... Whereabouts in Liverpool? Is it Liverpool? Have I got that wrong? Whereabouts are you based again, man? Ooh, brakes. Yellow flag, we're clear of the incident. Green flag. I'm definitely going to have to add that to the to-do list. Barbershop with a sim racing rig is such a... It's such an unusual combination, but as a sim racer, it's definitely a great combination. <laughs> And I wonder how many people, excuse me, I wonder how many people have gone in for a haircut, had a look and gone, what the hell is that? Can I ever go? And, and are now sim racers. I wonder how many people you've got into sim racing, Speed Force. Took a lot to get smoking there. Thank you, Daniel, for the vote. And again, welcome to the stream. Jimmy the Bird, good to have you. Sector two. This car, yeah, it's heavy and it's Sector a handful. And that's the end of the warm up session, so now we're going to get going into race one. Now, obviously, we've got no safety car driver today, right? So we're just doing the virtual safety yeah. car thing. Yeah, it's that 20 minutes remaining. <laughs> what sewing machine am I racing? It's the E Cupra. Uh, it's not. I think it's a Seat. Is it not a Seat? I'm not sure. It's an E Cupra, all electric. Thanks, Ricardo. Make sure you got your race fuel. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't false start, can we? I uh, don't think so. No. Good. Because there's no clutch. <laughs> uh, prevent false start is on. Yep, we're good. Beautiful. All right. Left off the start. Just keep out of your way, Dylan. Good luck, everybody. Luck all. Ten minutes. Here we go. Very anticlimactic race Where? one. Start. All right, down. Nice and neat. There's going to be no noise, and then all of a sudden we're going to be going. Very so race one, here we go. Go, go, go. Rewind. You're in the middle. We're all around. Guy ahead didn't make a uh -huh. particularly good start. Heading around to turn one already. On the outside. Got some brake lights. Side. Give him We're space. Got Dylan trying to get up the left. We got a blinker up ahead. Is that Clinty? Looks like he's moved to Singapore these days. All right. Sneak up the inside there. There. Clear, clear, clear to the right. Hi. <laughs> give, nice. give him space. Give him lots of space. As the silent train comes through, people are going to outbreak themselves here. So get on the brakes nice and early. Keep it nice and tight for this left-hander because you really want to. 
Incident's clear. Get the launch out to the right. I have to lift off a little bit then. Got Matt defending, Sunny do defending. And on the outside for the hairpin here, don't outbreak myself. Hold your line. Still there, on your left. On your left. Clear to the left. Just had no room there, gonna have to back out of this because that makes the right-hander too tight. Nicely defended by Matt there. That is a lap. Gone from ninth to sixth. Still within sight of the leaders. Six it's only a quick 10 minute race though, so not much time left to do anything about it. Almost overshot turn one then. I think a few guys behind did as well. Get the power down nice and break early here. It's progressive, just thread it in gently. Thread it in gently, here we go. Get on the brakes nice and gentle, don't want to use too many brakes and rotate that rear. Get on the power, straight on the brakes again. Don't want to go into the back of Matt here, almost dead. Straight line the exit, oh! <laughs> True, Olaf, this is far too civilized compared to my previous racing, online racing experiences. Yellow flag. Oh! Three wide, two wide. Oh! <laughs> Clear one. <wide>. Three one <laughs> round. <laughs> what happened, man? Somebody got rear-ended. Oh, Matt got, Matt got shuffled back because of that. Oh, what a shame. Right, there's a bit of a gap. I've got some clear track now. I'm in fifth with a 1.7 second gap, so quiet lap time. Let's see if we can catch him. What's he? Go, don't they? I've already stuffed up the first corner, so quiet lap aborted, I'd say. Yeah, commentator's curse indeed, Olaf. What a fantastic civilized experience. Everybody decides to rear end each other into the hairpin. I think because the brakes are so poor on these things. Well, I mean, they're not poor. They're just trying to slow down half a country. So... If somebody breaks early and catches you out, there's not much you can do. But Dave Smart and Clint up ahead. These guys are fighting. We've got the two Andes up at the lead. Far right. On your right. Still there. Had to back out of it then. Hold your line. Oh, dangerously close to the meatball. Had to lift out of it, otherwise I would have understeered into the right. side of him. Hey, cool third. Good to see you. The gap behind is now 2.1 seconds. You've just done at 106.45. Good lap. That's your best in the session. Oh, he's gone wide. I couldn't capitalize on the inside, though. Nice and smooth. The leads are pulling away with it now. I don't think I'm going to catch Both them before the end. Sector, one. Sector three is clear. Green flag. Let's see if we can get onto the podium. These two cars ahead for the podium. Oh, and there's a cut track. Slow down penalty as well. I'm going to have to give Stuart, up a bit of that. Just for cutting the track. Keep it between the white lines. You need to slow down a bit if you don't want a penalty. Sector I'll lift off in the braking zone. 0 0.05 seconds to give back still. Oh, he's gone wide! We're right. He's gone wide! We'll take that, thank you very much. Okay, now's the quiet lap time. Let's get Dave Smart for the podium, almost halfway into the race. Graham, 105.80. Here we go. Yellow flag, stay sharp. He's leading the race. Incident clear. Green flag. Sorry to break the quiet lap, but that's a freebie. We're now into third. This is the battle for second. Turnbull's been there. to go. You're looking good for a podium. Hold up again. Green flag sector one. Oh, Dave's run it wide. We're going to have to drive on the straight here. And he hits the curb as well for good measure. We've run it wide on the outside. That's another slowdown. We've had a cut warning. Keep it 
tidy, please down, P3. Serve it here. Big lockup, big lockup, wow. So easy to get a cut track here, already lost the second now. Oh, these cards are so fiddly. You make one small mistake, you're punished for it for the next... <laughs> what seems like an eternity. Bit too hot in there. Dave's going to get the drive out the corner, that's right, Clinty's not far behind as well. 3 minutes 40 to go. Just need to be smooth. Andy Turnbull pulling away with the lead here, big time. Dave doesn't run wide that time. Can't quite match my pace from Quali. Have to be nice and smooth here. Best lap so far is a 106.4. That's miles off my best. Off my potential best, at least, anyway. It's not like I'm carrying more fuel. It's exactly the same car I had in practice. That's a strange cut track on the outside there. I get the drive out, here we go! Two tenths back! Use all of the battery! Let's see if we can force him into a mistake here. I'm gonna pull to the outside, uh, inside. And get the drive out, here we go! Watch out for that sausage. Well, oh, meatball on the right. Two minutes 15 to go in the race. It's gonna be my best lap so far but it's still a little bit off the pace. Lost a bit in the middle sector. I was seven tenths up at one point. Oh, way too late on the brakes there, Dan. That's two minutes left, two minutes. Clinty's looking a bit feisty in the rear mirror there. Get the drive out, here we go. Yeah, I'm, I just can't find the pace I did in the practice session. Dave's, Dave's wide up there. Let's get the drive out. Yellow flag, sector three. I think someone spun behind. Sector three is green. P3, that was a 106.65. You're second off the pace in sector one. Clinty late on the brakes with the send then, wow. Thought I was going to hit the gravel on the outside then. Maybe got two laps to go. This and one more. Set the fronts. Um. Get the drive out. There we go. That's better. We are closing on Andy up at the lead of the race. It's not enough though. No steering now. <laughs> No, it's trapped on the tyres. Dave Smart holding it nice and tight. This is going to be half a second up on my best so far. This is going to be a good lap. Oh, that was the last okay, lap. Just enough so we didn't do another one. Oh, just short. Just short. I actually, Andy crossed the line with like right. one second yeah. spare. Yes. I thought we were going to do another lap then. I was expecting another lap. Never mind. Way. I think that's secret. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I think you had it in the bag. <laughs> Alright then, well, ninth to third isn't bad. What did it do with that front right tyre getting super hot? I could have had yeah. Dave, but I just really made too many mistakes. To, to lose it. I just made too many mistakes, too many cut tracks on the outside of the circuit running wide. If it wasn't for that, 
Um, I wouldn't have had to slow down so much. I could have had a better chance. But ultimately, third place, podium. That's not bad. Expertly defended from Dave there. And Clinty was putting the pressure on big time as well. Podium. Third place podium. So now, it's going to be race two time, which means that we uh, reverse the whole thing. So I'm going to be starting seventh. I found that uh, that tight little hairpin at the end. If you clobber one of those um, little mushroom things just at the right angle, it uh, spins the car, gives sort of a half spin. You get a perfect line for the next corner. <laughs> If you, if you hit it with a you know, race with damage on, that's the front end of your car destroyed. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, uh, true. Rear wheel ripped off, whatever. <laughs> It'd be pretty terminal, I think. Are they, uh, like, obviously they're on the real track. Can you imagine hitting one of those with the MotoGP bike? I think they take them off for the bikes. I'm no, they turn before it. They turn before Oh, yeah. they have that big sweeper, don't they? Yeah. All right, well, that's the end of race one. So we have a two-minute warm-up for race two. And then we go into the main event, which is going to be the... Oh, it is 35 minutes. I thought it was 38 minutes. Thank you very much. I don't want another one. So 35-minute race two. Reverse grid with a virtual safety car in the middle. No even just ripping real safety car driver today. Because the small field size. Again, confirmation of the results. Congrats to Andy on the win. Kept it nice and clear. Oh, what a year. Dave Smart in second. The team in red has won it for the fourth. first time since 2007. And Sun Edo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about Sun, about Matt. Um, that Shamozzle in the hairpin oh, on lap two or three, I think it was. Get, get that the, was really unfortunate because he was running really strong. The MotoGP videos and everyone's like, oh, there's no passing. Well, MotoGP's shit these <laughs> days. You're like, what races are you fucking... <laughs> there are. I mean, I was watching in 2000, or was it 2001, a nice rookie Valentino Rossi year. Mm. I'll say there was a lot more passing up front. That's, but the problem is the Honda domination just really set in at the time as well. I was waiting yeah. for the race one server to tick like when over. When you had a good race, it was dead. Sorry about this, guys. Normally it ticks over by now. Five race. Yeah, I oh, yeah, yeah, any of those are fantastic. <laughs> go back even further, go back to the old uh, Gardner, Rainey, Schwantz, Lawson days, where they were just full on for the whole race. Three, 86, 87, yeah. yeah. Trying oh, to keep was... the front wheels down on the uh, on oh, the yeah. two straight things. <laughs> they, were, they were just awesome. Watching Kevin Schwantz come bombing in on a big long straight back wheel about a foot in the air. <laughs> it's easily as good as it's been in 20 years. Yeah. Like, even if there's not a ton of passing, nah, just the overall basically. competitiveness is They just need to lose the wing. Get to lose those little winglets. Lose yeah. that. The, the, the um, 360k in it. Oh, it's insane. Same the fact that the field spread... <laughs> they might need the, the wings. Is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really they should get them. into MotoGP by the sounds of it. But the fact that the field spread is like 0.8 of a second for 18 bikes or something. Yeah. No, yeah, it's ridiculous. Definitely awesome. I got got to admit, like just the overall competitiveness. Why is the seven not taking the over? At the end of the day, mm, come yeah. on, race room, riding that bike. Oh, it's there we go. Put F1 to shame. All right, race. warm up for race two. Uh, do we really need to do the warm up? I mean, there's uh, there's nothing to change. Don't need to change the fuel, the tires, or Sometimes anything. We just bloody touring cars and two go wheels. out as is. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do a lap. Yeah, maybe I'll just do a lap. Pit exit's clear. Push. Obviously no pit stops. Your brakes are cold. Be careful. No anything in this race. Just flat out. Oh, someone's doing the full GP circuit. Sector one. Yellow flag. <laughs> yellow flag. Green flag. Yes, you can't clear. go that way, mate. We think Graham has gone off. All right, that'd be Andy Graham, I'd say. Probably hit a wall and rolled it. Oh. Sector 3 is now yellow. It always sneaks up on you so quickly, that corner. That tight left always gets you. Now that is the corner they use for MotoGP. It's like, instead of coming down to the herp in here, having a tight left, 
Oh, I'll, I'll change the scene for the rice potato. Not much point changing it now. And then the MotoGP joins back up here because it's much more flowing, much faster final corner. I'm not sure if they still use that. Did anyone that lives in Melbourne have a go at those electric hire carts when they were around in northern suburbs? Ah, Sector 2 is green. We're always tricky because it never got there. I'm so sad they... Uh, so there's literally nothing down. you do at the start apart from just floor it. I know some blokes who did and I reckon they were awesome fun. Yeah, they were heaps good because you could yell stuff at it. Hey, time. Sammy! Good to see you. Good to see um, you, Sammy. But the, uh, That's the, end of the, the power Three. difference between a big bloke and a little bloke... Oh, um, any high cast like that. <laughs> it wasn't too bad and it was made up for by the bigger blokes getting a bit more grip because it was a polished concrete surface. Yeah, what's yeah. going on with that, So Sammy? it ended up being really even. Having awesome. messages I've driven four strikes going all over the place today, mate. Missing messages, chats not keeping up. Good fun, slidey. Just YouTube yeah. being YouTube with all the new features. There was one down in Bay, they brought in. I think. And and there, was one in there was one in Moorabbin, I did. All right, oh, race yeah, two yeah, time, yeah, guys. The, the, so, the, um, just to remind you, 35 minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. With a reverse grid, so I'm going to be starting in eighth this time. Mm. And, um, Bobby yeah. The Erno de Aragon. Let's do this. Good luck, everybody. Brilliant. Thanks, Daniel. And change the scene. <laughs> See? It says Gobierno. That is exactly how you say it. <laughs> That's what she yeah. said. <laughs> you damn it, you beat me to it. <laughs> yeah, where's Stephen Coe tonight? <laughs> he hasn't been around for a few weeks, has he? Alright, here we go. Race 2. 35 minutes uh, reverse a grid. A family emergency. Virtual safety uh, car in the middle. Someone's not making the start. The Accuso. Well, 35 minutes. good to know what you're doing right now, mate. <laughs> Have fun, don't forget to wipe. Get ready. I'll try not to wipe out. Race two, here we go, floor it. Green, green, green. And away with the battery. Oh, oh. someone didn't go off the line. Oh, you put it in gear. <laughs> you got right. faster. Oh. Right. Yellow flag. Clear right, you're clear. Clear all around. Sorry, Matt, I got squeezed, mate. I couldn't go any further to the right. Oh, okay. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. I, I could see that was unfolding. I knew that was going to happen. I couldn't go anywhere. Yellow flag. Blame me for all that. Oh, jeez. Scruffy start. Scruffy start. Had to avoid somebody off the line. And then... Someone pit maneuvered themselves. Just that Jedi Force push. <laughs> oh, I'm just very glad there's a safety car in this one. Bring those people back in. But Dave Smart is ahead of us. The guy that I couldn't overtake in race one is already back ahead of us again after all that shamozzle in the first lap. And head towards the line for a lap here at Aragon. Let's have a look at the tyre marks on the track. I'd learn to drive from Russell. Watch, wash your mouth out, potato. All right, see what we can do from here, because there are a few cars ahead of us that were behind us in race one, but I think they were behind us because they had spins and stuff, so... Oh, Andy Graham's got a drive through Andrew, you cheeky bugger. Got a drive through <laughs> It doesn't help me actually going backwards and sideways into the pits. Ah, uh, you see, there's the problem. Uh, straight. White flag. Oh, oh, we got a spinner! We got a spinner! Angel is now in the lead. Green flag. That's Jacob. Jacob's off. Dylan's in the lead. We're now to fifth. We got the run on Smart here. The leader has just I'm going to try the move on the inside. Seven. Sector three is now clear. Well done, Dan. This is great. Come on. That's not going to work. You five. You've just done a Let's get the exit six. instead. Braked a bit too early because I lost my marker on the right. All right. Very tricky to overtake here. There's only a few 
decent spots, and you can't really get that much of a speed differential in these cars. Unless you, like, get the run out of the corner, but when you're right up behind someone like this... Yes! Nice win, mate! Someone off, Mark's off! Olaf, thank you! Thank you very much! That gap was always going to disappear. Take care here. Side, clear left. We got, like in golf. we got someone off up ahead of us as well. That's another freebie. Oh, but with your spend. Oh no, that's Andy coming back on the track. No. He'll have a slowdown for that for right sure. Side. Clear right. That's all, they lost. all over the place today. So Dave Smart now in second. Dylan with a massive seven and a half second lead. What the ends go for? Sorry, not a subscriber. I'll have channel membership. Twenty six months. Absolute mad lad. Twenty six months. Thank you, sir. I got a little bit distracted by the racing and didn't read the message properly. <laughs> True legend of the channel. Trouble with this car too, you go off, you get dirt on your tyres and you have another three offs because you can't steer. Right, so the field has spread out a bit now. Which means I can actually Put some laps in, put some pace in. So next lap is going to be a quiet lap, just to get into the flow. See if I can get back some of that pace that was running in the practice session, because I seem to be missing that at the moment, and that could really come in useful right now. So quiet lap incoming, guys. Enjoy the sounds of the Cooper E-Racer transmission wine. Uh, I don't think we're about... There's already uh, an Opal that's electric. Yeah. Well, look, there was an electric car at the e-tron in Dakar. Our front has just done a 105, but oh, 9 that was the fastest lap of the race. Really the lap time was a 105, 46. Taps are good in all three sectors. Track limits. Didn't they have a coal-fired power plant? Yellow flag in sector yeah. 1. Like that Tesla, Tesla charging station on the Nullarbor, which is diesel powered. Yeah, so true, Jasper. Is it a point transmission? Point. What's it called? Ah. What's the name of it? Watch your right front temperature. It's hot. Both of us were late on the brakes then. Dave a little bit later than me. I managed to get away with it though. E mission. All right, we're in close battle for seconds. Get the drive out. There we go. What was that slow down for? Bloody dodgy of slow downs. Maximize the line. Dave's wide. He's defending it expertly again. It's exactly what happened in race one. I just couldn't find a way past because he's speedy in all the right places that you want to be to be defensive. Oh, cut track on the outside though. That's strange. I didn't jink to the right, did I? I didn't think I cut the track. Okay, Dan. Stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. Keep it nice and tight. Get the drive out. That's it. Straight line this as much as possible. Oh, that's going to be wide. And that's a slowdown as well. Bugger. The guy behind has just done a 105.82. I need to slow down to give back the time In the best gained. way possible, racing smarty is a pain in the ass. <laughs> he knows how to defend. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, this was my entire race one, so I'm used to it by now. <laughs> oh! Oh, he's... Get the drive out! Get the drive out! He had a bit of a wobble there. It's not really much of a slipstream in these things. He's gone wide! Car right. Still there. 
Come on, have me. Clear right. Come on, Dan. Nicely done. Yeah, if these corners were flat out, it'd be easy, but you have to lift. How crazy is that? It's not flat out in these. B2, that lap was at 106.68. Oh, made it stick! Just about made it stick. Got him. One mistake, that's all it takes. Stuck up the inside, got the old switcheroo on him. Oh, and I've done the same. On your left. Yellow I've done the same, I've gone and thrown it away. Clear Back down to fourth. The incident's clear, green flag. You've got dirt. Oh, Dan. Just went in way too hot, and now the tyres are just absolutely filthy, and it just doesn't want to steer at all. I've got to do all that all over again. That's how you do it. There's mistakes all over the place. But the thing is, even though me and Dave and everyone are making mistakes, we're still closing on Dylan. The overall delta is slow compared to him. So the overall delta is... It's getting smaller because he is slower than us on average over these laps. Maybe he's saving tyres, I don't know. I, mean, I can't believe I went and threw it away there. Man, oh man. I think my chat may have froze as well. The last message I've got is from Olaf saying lol. B4, the gap to Turnbull ahead is now 0.5. Oh, wow. Yep, tyres must still be dirty. It didn't want to slow down at all then. Oh, round goes the rear. Yep, I've got dirt on the tyres, I've lost grip overall. And they're all catching up with Dylan in the lead of the race as well. It's all coming together nicely. I'm going to try and get back into the 105s to keep that gap stable. Andy Turnbull up ahead of us as well. I can't remember, was it Andy Turnbull or Andy Graham that won race one? I think it was Andy Turnbull. And obviously he started from the back here. Car just not slowing down again. That's alright, I think the tyres are coming good again now. It's starting to, starting to finally get back up to grip again. Only took me two laps. Oh, another cut track! It didn't feel like it was that much of a cut track. And now that's half a second. Did I get one on the outside as well? Jeez! Ruthless here at Circuit Aragon. This is what got me in race one was the slowdowns. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my chat has broken, by the way, guys. Unless you're all being very quiet. Nobody's messaged since Olaf saying emission lol. Uh, that terrible pun must have broke the chat in my headset. So I've got no idea what you're saying. I apologize if there's anyone speaking to me. I'm not responding to you. I literally can't see what you're saying. <laughs> Yellow flag. Got a yellow flag, that must be someone behind. Because these three cars... Oh no, it's a lapped car. These three cars ahead of the cars I'm actually fighting for position. White flag, mate. So much yellow understeer, flag. wow. I think I need another quiet lap. Just to get back in the groove, I've completely lost my flow these laps. Driving terribly. Sector one is green. Yeah, another quiet lap coming up. Yellow flag. Well, that's Dave. And a bit of a wobble oh, Marcus. there. Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> now these two are both going slow. They both had to back out of it. Is it going to be three wide? Is it the first corner? <laughs> On your right. Sniffing. Right side. Clear to the right. Right side. Clear right. Yeah, I thought Side. three wide probably wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Still there. Still oh, there. Boy. Keep it steady. Clear right. Back up to third here. 
status quo. This is basically like the start of the race again. There, to be Another cut track on the outside, really? Show me the track limits, come on. All right, now it's back. Battle resume with Smarty again. Right at a point, Slay. Oh, Dylan's, Dylan's wide. Right side. Clear to the right. You're being a lead car. Clear left. Oh, one and a half tenths behind. You can't really get closer than that. Car right. And get the run into turn one here. Still there. Hold your line. Be nice and tight. Hold your line. Don't want to understeer into him. Clear right. Oh, he's blocking the apex there. Oh, caught me out big time then on the brakes. He's still there. Hold your line. Keep it steady. Still there. Still side by side. This is not going to work. Still there. Still there. This is going to work. <laughs> Oh, I lost so much time with that battle. Four or five corners side by side. Oh, not enough. <laughs> A few. Right side. Hold your line. Look Let's make right. it some more. <laughs> not not nice a line. <laughs> Meanwhile, Smarty's up there running away, rubbing his hands. <laughs> yeah. I've tried to catch Angel about seven times. <laughs> When I got within half a second or a second, I've done something wrong. Yeah, same. Whenever I got close to you, Dave, I just get a cut track or have a wobble and just fall back again. It's impossible to follow. You must be very aero dependent. Yeah, <laughs> dirty air off the back of these Coopers, right? Three, I think two, front is now one, two seconds. One. Safety car deployed. This is great. Safety Continuous car deployed. Left. Well, that was a spicy first half. Gone out of track limits. Keep it between the lines. All right, let's close the field back up again. I am going to do my best at resetting chat. So I'm an entire lap down, so got me just to drop to the back and. Oh, the lucky dog. Let's give it out a refresh. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll be on the inside. You go around the outside. Just chat should be working again now, guys. <coughs> Don't wait for me, though. So there we go. Chat should be working again, so sorry for any messages that I have missed. They should now pop up. I'm just basically going to alt tab and a refresh. What's three, driving? Three, three. <laughs> and breathe, Ricardo. I'll catch up on chat after the stream, alright? Is the petrol one handle any better than this thing? Green flag, incident clear. Yep. So any messages that I have missed, I will catch up after the stream. Kilos of so apologies pack. for anything Yellow you flag. may have said. Hopefully this holds out going, for the final you? 18 or so minutes of the race. Up at the front. Whew, it's crazy, crazy action to start. Battles with Andy, what, battles with Dave, orders? all of us. Oh, here we go. That was quick. Got getting, it. getting ready to go again. Green flag, all clear. Keep it steady. Three wide, two up. This doesn't feel like the right place to be. Stay sharp. One side, clear to the left. Oh, did I give Dave a tap then? <laughs> did I give Dave a tap? Four oh, wouldn't see that <laughs> Three, you but not four. I don't know, what was going on? Where's Dave when you need him? Left side tires are cold. Alright, still third, but now Dylan's ahead of us. Andy is in the lead of the race. Now, this is critical. Because Andy has definitely got more pace up front. He ran away with it in race one. So I need to try and get past Dylan as quickly as possible. He's defending on the inside here. On your left. Clear left. I need to try and make this spot as soon as I can before the people behind can get stuck into it. Before Andy can run away. Oh, that was running wide then. I'm probably going to run out of incident points. You've just done a 108.33. Three. 
Oh, that's a All gift. Right. There we go. Dylan's wide. Right. We got the spot. We're up to second. Nice move, mate. That tire said no. Okay, that was exactly the gift I needed. A freebie from Dylan there. We're now in the hunt for Andy for the lead of the race with 16 minutes to go. But as the first half of the race has shown you, um, there's no guarantees that it's going to be easy or even possible because one little mistake and you lose all the momentum in this car. You screw off so much speed. The guys behind are not that far behind either. There is a slip strain. Let's see a little bit there, Ken. Green flag sector three. I really got to try and make this work, guys. If I want to stand a chance of winning. Jimmy the Bird, no bins, full attack. Well, I mean, that's the strategy always. It just never tends to always go that way, does it, hey? I mean, ideally, every race would be no bins. Oh, Andy's wide as well. Stewards have warned us about track limits. Ran a bit wide out of turn one. Got an instant point there. See, the trick with this car is you really just can't brake late. And you can't carry too much speed. But when you get caught up okay, in a battle, you yeah, want to brake later. You want to try and get the car ahead and outbrake them. But it's not just it's just not going to stick, you know? You, you can't brake late. Cause it's just not going to work. <laughs> and the first sector with all the 90 degree corners really doesn't lend itself to... Uh, Overtaking. We've seen a bit of wear on your right front. All about following. I had to lift out there. And he's got me on pace. Seven tenth is the gap to the car ahead. Right, really need to do something special here. We got five seconds back to Clint now. Don't be intimidated here. Locked it. Big time. Left side, clear left. We'll be warned about track limits. 15 minutes remaining, 15 minutes to go. Ty said no as well, that didn't. So again, I've got another invalidated lap. I don't think I've had a clean lap on the board since I actually did the safety car restart. <laughs> Maybe Mark's got a point. Maybe we are going to run out of instant points before the end. Only 40 available. Sounds like a lot. But with all the car contacts and running wide, you can run out of that very quickly. Front right tyre is now... Oh, Wendy's slow. But I had nowhere to go. I just haven't got the grip to drive around him. He's defending. He's going to the inside. Real early on the brakes then. Just want to make sure I get the corners right. I don't want to overdrive it. That's what's been getting me the instant points and the slowdowns the last two uh, last two times. Just need to stay calm and breathe, like Ricardo says. Not get carried away. Wait for my opportunity. Can't force the issue around this track. There's nowhere to force it. Two minute penalty. Two minutes. <laughs> Why? What? <laughs> I touched the dirt on the outside. Oh, no. <laughs> 10 minutes and 7 seconds. You're, in you're into that shit, Clint. You're glitching all over the shop. It's weird. It used to be awesome. Is it really bad? What? Can you see what my ping says? Oh, no, 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 hang on. I'll put, I'll put it up. It says, oh, it says, uh, it says it's at 38. You've just done a 106. Okay. That's alright. Yeah, yeah, good ping, but yeah, just every now and then in front of me, you, you, you warp all over the place. Yeah, it seems to spike. Yeah, I've had, um, yeah, last about three weeks. I've had... Right side. Oh, he's gone wide. Still there. Clear right. Got him. Well, well done, Dan. Great move. Keep, keep it up. Well, Plenty's got a drive through. Right, now it's mine to defend. Gotta try and defend this now, guys. Andy's right in behind. I was a bit optimistic that I could do that for 15 minutes. 
Dylan's right in behind as well. <laughs> Crew chief's never had a tech. Four minutes, 93 penalty that one. <laughs> Far left. <laughs> Clear left. Oh, a bit of a tap there. Incident sector oh, three, yellow flag. Well, I can't afford to hit you, Clint. <laughs> <laughs> bit of a tap from Andy, bit of a send in the hairpin. It's not quite E1 style, but still a bit of a send. Tried to give him enough Ooh. room there. Don't let this guy intimidate you. You're now in the lead. That lap was at 107.45. Right, let's put some laps on the board. Let's put some good laps on the board. Need to get down to the 105s again. Points back by pitting. The Accuso! How did your poo go, mate? I hope it was nice and satisfying. Clint, he's got another penalty. He's now in a good race. Gap two, turn ball behind. I've got a 1.9 seconds on Andy. Been going for a penalty that's bigger than the race. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Big, big late braking moment there. Couldn't get the car. Slowed down. Clean as this race. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not very clean at all, Akuso. Sort your life out. Come on. That lap was at your weapon. 0 .00. Sector 3 is 0 0.5 off the pace. That's it, the record. 101.80. So you took a big shortcut there. Yep. <laughs> Had a drive. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm just sorry, Akizo. <laughs> seen a bit of wear all round. I thought you were trying to imply that this isn't a very clean race at all, and therefore imply that you didn't have a clean experience either. So I'm sorry to I'm sorry to hear that, mate. I'm, so, I'm sorry I'm sorry to hear. Unless unless you're trying to say that this race was clean. And the tires really drop off, don't they? Oh yeah. You got ten minutes left. Ten minutes to go. Oh, there's wide again. How much I can do about it? I can't really shake the guys ah. behind. These tyres are definitely dropping off. Maybe that's why I'm not getting as much grip. Down to 67 on the right front and the right rear. Green flag in sector three. That lap time was 106.84. Definitely not pulling away from them. That's for sure. and smooth. Wow, it just didn't turn at all then. Turned in nice and early, get the power down. Slingshot out. <laughs> it makes me think I'm lane wandering on this Hume Highway though. <laughs> <laughs> Your right front tyre is getting hot. You get the drive out. That wasn't bad. That's my best lap for a while. Might be in the 105s just. Pull a bit of a gap now, half a second. You're in the lead. The gap to turn ball behind is now 0.9. We're currently setting the pace. You've just done it. a 105.9. That's what I need. I need to set some more of those if I want to try and pull a gap. Probably not the most exciting race for you guys. You want to see me get stuck in with the guy behind, have a battle for the lead. Well, you never know. There's plenty of time left. I could bin it. In fact, that's what the vote's for. Will DDF bin it? Oh! Big understeer. Wow. Those tyres, those tyres are going, wow, you get dirt on them and they're gone. Dirt on our right side tyres. Honestly, that Clear wasn't right. scripted. <laughs> right. That honestly wasn't scripted. Right side, clear right. Left side, clear to the left. Oh, big whack from Andy. Trying to go for the over-under behind me, got a bit whack up the rear. Good, good job damage is turned off as well. Oh, he's making a move. Hold your nerve, just keep it smooth. No mistakes. 
Oh no, I've locked it. Let's try to defend. Clear left. Bugger. Green flag. You're clear of the incident. Yeah, these tyres are gone. Seven minutes to go. You get dirt on the tyres, it does take a while to recover. Now Andy and Dylan are back in the lead again. Dave Smart's catching up only one and a half seconds behind. Are you still on the toilet, Akuzo? <laughs> still time to make it up indeed, Talonin. Shift into second. <laughs> this is all the gears it's gone. Right side. Clear to the right. Whoa! Clear left. Dylan got sent to the shadow realm then, and now Andy's slow off the corner as well. Andy's going to defend it, making me go the long way around. Far left. Clear on the left. Once you lock it up in these things, there is nothing you can do about it. If you're late on the brakes, you're late on the brakes, that's it. But Dylan was going in for the send. The Dylan is going in for the send behind as well. All this is doing is bringing Smarty back into the mix. Oh, and he's not got a good exit off there. Left side. Gonna make me go the long way around. It's clear now, though. It's clear. Don't outbreak myself. On your left. Clear left. He's going to be tight on the exit. That's my chance. Swing it back. He's had to have a lift. Right. Got the inside here. Oh, ah, I've got a lift as well now. Dylan's going to have a mega run. He's going to make it oh, three wide, line. surely. Still surely there. not. Ah, oh, jeez. Still, Still there. Clear right. You're clear. Car right. Right hand point. Clear to the right. Dylan's trying to go around the outside. Battle for the lead. On your right. Clear right. Oh, now this is intense racing. Now there's no gap up the inside there. Four and a half minutes to go. Get the run. Get the run. Still there. Clear left. This didn't work last time. On your left. Keep it nice and tight. Clear to the left. Gotta keep it nice and tight. Get the run out. Does he have to lift off here? No, he's nailed it. Half a second in it ahead, half a second behind. Dave and Matt closing as well. That lap time was 107.73. Tires are going off big time. We're both under steering clean off the circuit. Far left. Clear left. Oh, he's defending the inside nicely there, Andrew. Keep it nice and tight here. So the outside isn't working into the hairpin for some reason. I need to try and think of something else. I need to try and think of a different overtaking maneuver here. Hey, Sean Finn! Whoa! Okay, pit stop requested. Don't want a pit stop. I pressed the wrong button on my wheel. I was just trying to oppo it. Followed him in deep. Ah, bugger. Last lap was at 107.27. And he's really defending like crazy here. Yeah, the grip's definitely gone in the tyres. Front right's down to 50%. Slow down, no! We've just cut the track. 
Cleared it before we get onto the straight though, that's good. Yeah, he can hold the inside line, he can run me high and dry Andy. I just don't have the grip. On the tyres, got two minutes to go. Right side. Oh, he's running wide though. Still there. Oh, okay. Still there. Clear right. Two minutes to go, two minutes. Push, push, push. We're in with a chance of winning. Then. He's trying it. He's trying it. Left side. Left side. Keep it steady. Get the drive here. Hold your line. Force him to the outside. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Sector 3 is yellow. Hold your line. Sector 3 is clear. Still there. Clear on the left. Car left. Clear left. Oh, got him! Just made it work around the outside! We're into the lead! <laughs> it's a four-way battle, that's brought Dylan and Dave back into it as well. We're gonna have one more lap after this. Right, don't bin it. Don't bin it. Don't bin it! <laughs> this is it, last lap. Mine to defend. Hey, Tuba! Got half a second gap, no mistakes. Last lap incoming. Here we go. You're leading. One more lap to go. Stay focused. That was a 108.00. Gotta defend for all it's worth here. Sector 3 is yellow. Critical to get a good exit out of this left-right chicane coming up now. We need to get a great exit onto the straight down and break the self. Keep it in nice and tight. That's it. Get the run. Get the drive. There we go. Whew. Run! <laughs> run! Six tenths of a second. Don't I break the self. Keep it nice and tight. That's it. That's it, I think we've done it. Just got to nail these final couple corners. Oh, that was close. That was a hell of a battle. Woo! <laughs> Who says electric racing is boring, right? There we go, across the great line. Win, mate. That was great fun. Well done, Dan. Great oh, win. that was an <laughs> epic battle. Wow. That was proper intense. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating after that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> great race to watch, guys. Woo. I just oh. could not find a good gap to put it in. Steve, where's Steve and Coat? <laughs> awesome racing, got the win as well. I, heaps um, of fun. Lots of fun. A terrible car, but heaps of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually enjoy the car. Oh, it's, thank you, Jimmy. It's a different approach. Thanks, uh, Mr. Yeah. Bishy. <laughs> different minutia. <laughs> Woo! I, I, I credit this win entirely to Boggy. Oh, I have to watch that one back. Because of the magic fun. shirt. Um, that that's. I can I can give it the Slovakia oh, shirt. That's what coming. made me win today. Yeah. Thanks, thank Owen. I'm glad you're. Thanks, Boggy. Thank you, thank you, Boggy. Yeah, great driving from Andrew, Dylan, we'll Dave, like a Matt. Streamy stream. Everybody, everybody in the race. That was Thanks awesome race, stuff. Boys. I'll see you later. Well, Catch you, mate. Not bad. Talonin, ten dollars. Fantastic race, Captain well EDDF. Done, Back in the sads at that thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just all the dramas. And I, was I just, really I just ran out of that. points. I was really sad at race one. All right, my camera's shifted as well, actually. I must have shook the rig. It's come loose a bit. But I have the wheel of doom, pain, misery, and despair. Okay. <laughs> I think we'll need it. What a race. That was fun. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it, Voodoo Acid. Witness. Hang on. Okay, so that's the final results. Andy Turnbull takes the overall win. And there are the race two results. Claimed it by just a second at the end of the line. Out of my hands. Oh, 100% Accuso. This needs to be a precision driven car. You can't just throw oh, it around. Can. Because it doesn't stick. It just doesn't oh, stick to the road. That's not very funny. It just locks up. That's a thing. Portamel, right? Ooh, freak. A free content one. That's nice. Uh, that, that'll get a big feeling. 
Hey, what 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 was the combo? Still a Silhouette watermelon. watermelon. Oh, that's not bad. I think he might have to uh, wake up early in the UK for that one. <laughs> that should get a big turn up. Watermelon, it's fun. Well, that's um. I'll also, uh, just give out a warning that the the Cougar sedan is the slowest. The Cougar hatchback is the fastest by a long way. Oh, the Wop is a bit fast. Canard said, uh, catch was the quickest. There you go. And that's all free content as well, so that should be um, good if anybody wants to come and join us who doesn't normally, who doesn't have content, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now's uh, usually... an opportunity to join. Uh, yeah. Read the rules, get used to the vibe, watch a DDF stream, <laughs> and uh, hold on to your pants. That's the one. Uh, that was going to be an evil combo. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome racing today, guys. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, yeah, did I? Great battles all around. Um, and yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, I can make it in for next week. I've missed you guys. We've missed oh, having you. Really? Yeah, I have, genuinely. Yes, we missed oh, you too. Detect some more sarcasm there. Oh, well, I'll, okay, I'll rephrase <laughs> that then. I've missed staring at Dave's ass. How's that? <laughs> no, that's more like it. <laughs> Cougar could be reckon. <sighs> All right, well, I'm going to go wrap up the stream anyway. So um, if anyone's oh, still around in a couple of minutes, I'll I'll catch you then. But yeah, there's a there's a nice orange one too, Ben. Dan. Oh, nice. I'm I'm definitely definitely hey, going to have to make it now. One sticky needs to be in. Yeah, sticky sticky confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again. Uh, any final words for YouTube before I head off? Uh, that's what she said. Couldn't have said it better. Yes. <laughs> and on that note, catch you all soon. Invent names, I'm calling <laughs> all the chat names right now. I <laughs> love it. Love it, guys. <laughs> Alright, catch you soon. See ya. See ya. Yeah. Uh, you reckon the Kirk equips the game? Alright, and that is Oz and Z Sim Racing. Uh, Tuesday Thunder. Let me pop some music on in the background and let's wrap up this stream. Ah, the Accuso just recently got me a G29, but I'd like to swap out the wheel for modern GT1 style. Since I had experience with that, what do you reckon is a good one without going overboard price-wise? Well, there are a lot more direct drive wheels on the market now than there were when I joined, uh, when, I, when I got them. Uh, I ran a G29 for the best part of five years. Before that, I ran a G27 for five years or so. Before that, I ran a G25 for five years or so. So basically, I used Logitech gear for like 15 years. And then I upgraded to this thing, Fanatec CSL DD with a Formula One style wheel. And I also have a uh, rounder, sort of more classic style GT wheel as well. Um, I can't really say bad things about the CSL DD. It's treated me very well. Sometimes the uh, paddle shifters have cut out, but a quick disconnect reconnect does the job. Um, whether that's in your budget or not, I genuinely don't know. Um, and uh, yeah, and in terms of... Uh, oh, sorry, swap out the wheel on the G29. Oh, I get you now. Well, if that's the case, you might want to try Ansei 3 d who made this for me. Uh, it's a G29 replacement wheel. Now, obviously, this... I don't use this anymore because I don't use my G29. Full disclaimer, it was awesome until it cracked. And you can see that up there. Yeah, you can see that there. So it kind of... It cracked a bit, unfortunately. Uh, the It's um, 3D printed with a custom logo on the front as well, which is cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. But they have made design changes since then. Um, they've used my feedback into the construction process. They've changed it. It's reinforced. It's much better. But um, yeah, Ansei 3D. I don't have a link to it in chat. I don't have a link in the video description, but if you search for ANSE 3D, uh, they make custom 3D printed wheels for your Logitech. Um, there are other ones out there. I'm just not sure what they are, because I haven't really done any research into it. But something that you can get as well is a magnetic paddle shifter mod, which makes a hell of a difference, as I'm sure very important potato, if you're still in chat, will attest to as well. It basically increases the magnetic resistance on the back of your paddles and make them feel a bit clunkier. It's not just like you're going on a button, it's like a proper clunk when you press it. So that's something to keep in mind as well. And say 3D also make those as well. Uh, do I use the damper on my pedals? Uh, no, Tuba. I don't have the damper. I'm just using the Club Sport V3s as they are. Just 
au naturel. I do have a damper, but I just never got around to fitting it and I got used to it. Also, when I ordered my pedals, the uh, brake performance kit, the little rubber silicon pieces were out of stock. And if I wanted to order them, my order would have been delayed another three months. So I thought, no, <laughs> I'll just get the pedals. I'm not waiting for that. Uh, so that's that. So I hope that answers your questions. Anyway, cracking race. Thoroughly enjoyed that, guys. That was... Uh, well, I mean, all things considered, I wasn't expecting it to be amazing. And when I saw the turnout on the server, again, it was like, mm, 10 people. Mm. But the racing itself was absolutely fantastic. We had four people within three seconds at the end of the race there. Uh, great battles. Andy, Dylan, Dave, Matt, Jacob, Andy number two, Lee, Mark, and Clint. I'm um, not sure what happened to Clinton race two, but he had an absolute mare of it. But no, seriously, thank you for turning up. Thank you for racing. Thoroughly enjoyed that. And um, yeah, we're going to do it all again next week, maybe. Silhouettes at Portimao. But in the meantime, on Thursday this week, uh, we're going to change the pace ever so slightly. I'm going to be racing this. Now, it's going to be FRX 22 at Imola. And it's basically the race that I did last week, but it got cancelled due to server issues. They're rerunning the whole thing. So my P9 that I got, my best result of the season, didn't count. I've just realised I've still got the Thermalito logos in the bottom as well. Sorry about that, guys. That's very unprofessional of me. <laughs> it should be... Uh, it should have been... It should have been that. But now... It's too late, I'm going to change it to that setup for Thursday. So yeah, um, E1 series, it's basically an eSports series. I'm going to be racing that on Thursday. Two races, there's a 15 minute race one and a 30 minute race two. Um, top level motorsport, e-motorsport in the world. These guys are the best of the best. Uh, 20 people taking part and I am, well, I've only managed to sneak into the top 10 once and it, it's just brutal. The competition is so fierce, so competitive. I love it. Absolutely love it. It pushes me, it challenges me to just find some more pace in a car that I think is probably one of my strongest cars as well, and I'm still two seconds off the pace of the leaders. But then again, it is Williams Esports, a division of the actual Williams Formula 1 team that, you know, th there's just some of the names up at the top of the field. So if that sounds like your thing, check in on the channel on Thursday. Uh, next Tuesday, it might be back for Tuesday Thunder. If not, I'm going to be doing Automobilista 2 Racing Life. See what that's about. And then in a few weeks, I'm doing an Assetto Corsa community event at, what, a circuit that I designed for R-Factor 1 and then converted. Uh, what was originally designed about 15 years ago. Circuit Thermalito, a big community event, biggest event on the channel of the year. So if you're interested in that, check out the channel. The trailer's like the second most recent video I've uploaded. Go and have a look, check it out, and come and join in the fun. Not many spots left on that, guys. Anyway, that's me for today. I'm going to go and get some dinner. Some hot food and a cold beer, maybe a cold shower because that race too was sweaty. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, it's not too late to leave the stream a like. It's not too late to say hi in chat. And it's not too late to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, guys. You look after yourselves. And, um, yeah. Catch you all real soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Come on, bun. <laughs> okay, now, there we go. All right, now the button works. Sweet! See you guys. Oh, and once again, thank you, Boggy, for the t-shirt and the scarf and everything else, mate. You legend.